I have a brand new way to shoot sports and it is right inside of this box. So this is the Insta360 One R. I think a lot of people already know what the Insta360 One R is. It's not a new camera per se, but for anyone who doesn't, this is a 360 camera that can also be interchanged with like these lenses that you can mount to it or remove from it into a GoPro style thing. So you can use it as like an action camera and a 360 camera. We're gonna start by doing a little unboxing. So here is the actual Insta360 One R. You can see here that it has different lens attachments. So right now we have, I just don't know how this, how this works and how to take it off. But there's two lenses attached to this right now. And then we have a third lens mount for the 360 camera right here, which we're gonna get into. And this is the 360 lens. And then this is the screen and the action camera lens. It comes already assembled like this in the box. And then this is the little base plate that these lenses attach to. We've got a house for the camera. If you wanna like mount it to a pole, mount it to a helmet, mount it to another camera, this is your standard GoPro mount and a little protector for the 360 camera. So you, when you're not using this 360 camera, you put the protector on it like this and it just covers the lenses to keep them safe and make sure that they don't scratch. Why am I talking to you about the Insta360 ONE R? Well, I want to use this camera to film basketball from an entirely new perspective. A lot of people are just using traditional mirrorless cameras to film basketball. This is amazing. I think that it's a great look. There's nothing wrong with it, but I want to step my video production for basketball up a level. So my idea for this Insta360 ONE R, actually I'm gonna just slap this on here. So my idea for this Insta360 ONE R is to, well, I've already bought a cage for my Sony a7 III that's coming in the mail, but I wanna take an, like, an arm mount and the cage for my Sony a7 III and attach this Insta360 ONE R to the side of my Sony a7 III. And then using the 360 camera, I can film myself while I'm filming basketball. And if I'm filming close to the court, like under the net or something, then I have two angles because I get the angle from my mirrorless camera, which can be zoomed in. And I get a close up with a 360 camera on the play that's happening under the basket, which gives me a second angle from the same point without me having to do any extra work just by having the 360 camera attached to the side of my mirrorless camera. And additionally, you can actually hook this up with a Rode Wireless Go, like what I'm wearing right here, or with your AirPods. So I may actually be able to, and this is my goal for this setup, use a 360 camera to get a second angle of the basketball game that I'm filming, while also filming myself for BTS and for use on this YouTube channel, and record audio from the game into my mirrorless camera, and my own audio of me talking and commenting on what's happening into the Insta360 ONE R. That's my ideal setup. That is how I'm going to be trying to film basketball from now on, or at least how I'm gonna experiment with filming basketball in this video. And I'm hoping that this tool is the thing that allows me to take the production of this YouTube channel and of my basketball videos as a whole to the next level. Okay, so it took a while, but after some Amazon delays and waiting for things to come in the mail, I think I have everything, I don't think you can see this, I think I have everything that I need to rig my camera out the way I want to for sports videography and like the optimal setup that I've been kind of like idealizing or thinking about. I'm sure I'm gonna add more to this later, but this is gonna be a good start for me rigging out my a7 III with 70 to 200, which you can see right here, which is my go-to filming kit for sports videography. The first thing I have here is the Andy Cine A6 Plus monitor. I heard about that in this video right here. And what really sold me on it was the fact that I can like add LUTs to it. It has false color. It's a nice big display. It has a touchscreen menu that's easy to navigate. And I think it was only like 200 to 250 dollars. I can't remember the exact price. So this is the monitor right here. It just takes your standard like Sony battery. So I, I have fat Sony batteries. I'll just put one in there and that'll run just fine. 
and you can see the here at the bottom there's like a little dc in headphone jack i can even throw an sd card in hdmi in hdmi out dc out power button up here menu you can just scroll through the menu using this little like wheel thing then i got i guess i got like a makeshift type of cage and handle setup off of amazon refurbished so just like things that amazon has like sold and they got returned and you can buy them for cheaper. I got some of that stuff. So I, make, I got an A7 III cage for maybe like 70, 75 bucks Canadian on Amazon refurbished. Yes. So I've got this magic rig top handle right here. And then in this box, so I have this small rig camera cage. My A7 III is gonna slot right in there. And also in the box, we have paper. So I'm literally just putting this screw in this hole and screwing that into the bottom plate of my A7 III. I'm gonna grab my multi-tool and finish screwing this in, but that's how the camera holds into this cage. And then the cage has like little holes all around it, like quarter 20 and 3 eighths attachments that I can use to mount this other stuff. I think I mentioned that I have a magic arm that I'm gonna be using, and I still have the Ahachu available right there so that I can attach the monitor if I wanna do it that way. Shake the cage around. The A7 III is not coming out of there, so that's a good sign. You know, last thing I got, I didn't even mention this, cause I don't know if this, yeah, yeah, this is part of the build. Last thing I got was like this little $5 cable, and this cable allows me to split my audio channels. So I plug this end right here into the audio jack in my camera, and then these two ends give me the left and the right channels. So now I can run two different audio outputs for like YouTube and behind the scenes stuff. This allows me to record myself while recording the game and maybe like a more practical game time situation, non like YouTube-y behind the scenes use is if like I mic up a coach, then I can grab this cable, run it into my camera. Oop. Grab this cable, run it into my camera and plug the road wireless go into here and then put the actual receiver on a coach with a lav mic and get his audio and i can plug a road video micro or some other shotgun microphone into the other channel and record the game audio so for five bucks i think this cord is well worth it i'm pretty actually excited about this five dollar cord maybe more so than the rest of this stuff maybe not the monitor but it's a, look it's a fun cord this is a pretty cool thing to have all right anyways that's everything that i got for the build i already showed you like the 360 camera and i told you i have a magic arm from small rig that i'm using but um i'm actually gonna like dive into this and build it and then once it's built i'm gonna show you everything and kind of explain how i went about doing it because like if i just try to build it like this it's gonna take forever and, and no no i'm just gonna like do the youtube thing i'll snap and then it'll it'll be there so ready three two one yeah, this is it. This is the rig. 350 camera, magic arm, the monitor, cage, mic. Uh, how do you feel after not shooting sports for like a whole decade? I think it's been like at least 15, 16 months. It's a really good feeling, man. Yeah? Honestly, I feel you like got any good been, highlights? Oh, I've pumped out like five by the half, but I feel like I feel, so it's like, you know, pick up right where you leave off. This is going to cut to his highlights now. As you can see from that last shot that I showed you, this rig has been working out 
very well. All three of those angles worked great for me. I've actually filmed like six games since the game that I showed you here in this video. And yeah, I've had no problems with this rig. I've been using it as my main driver for filming basketball and I'm definitely filming the whole rest of the season using this exact rig. Anyways, that's gonna be all for this video. So if you liked it, then please make sure you subscribe to my channel because I post videography and video editing tips and tutorial videos similar to this one, specifically tailored to sports videography on a regular basis. And I'd love to have you around for that if you think that's something that you're into. And also Juan Morales, who filmed the iPhone footage that you saw in this video at the stadium at the start there, and also shot this game with me as the other videographer, kind of was the inspiration for me to make this camera build video. He did a very similar build video on his channel where he builds out his rig and talks about it a little bit. So if you like this video, I think you're gonna like that one. So I recommend you go check that out. It's gonna be linked right up here. And if there's anything in this video that I missed, you have any additional questions or something that I wasn't clear on, anything of that nature, go drop it in the comments. I'll get back to you as soon as possible and clear up any concerns you may have. Anyways, it's gonna be all for this one. So until next time, peace.